Alexandra, thanks for your assistance. Please, think nothing of it. But tell me, are you okay? You defended Colonel Clay against a herd of wild beasts, right? Yes. All in vain, sadly. I wish I'd been able to save him. Alexandra? August, was... Was the Colonel's death actually... Actually... Nothing. Never mind. Concentrate on getting some rest. Yes. I'll do that, thank you. She's as intuitive as you were, Bertina. I just realized. She reminds me of you when you were at the Academy. You know, if Lucina was still alive, those two might... I'll stop. It's pointless. There's no time to reflect or let my guard down. After all, the journey I began on that fateful day won't be over till I have vengeance. Is it time? Uh-uh, not yet! Is it time now? Not yet! <laughs> Is it time now? Yeah, come on! Okay, where's my little mouse hiding? <laughs> well now, I can't find her anywhere. Ah, there you are. Almost sounds like you're asking me to go easy on you. Of course I'm not! That's a no-no! Then what am I to do? I can't win with you any more than with your mother. What was that about me? Nothing. Here to join in the fun, Bertina? Are you, Mommy? Of course, Lucina. Happy birthday, sweetie. Happy birthday. Huh? Wow, thank you! You're six years old now. That's the age when big girls start going on adventures. It, it is? Is it really? August, play along. <sighs> and what's a big adventure without some treasures? Treasures? Also known as birthday presents. There are three in all. You'll find them hidden in the orchard. You hid them? I'd assumed we were just gonna hand them to her. Your first hint is under the red triangle. It's time to set forth, Lucina. Um... Oh, is it near the house? <laughs> That's for you to find out. It is, isn't it? You be quiet. I'm gonna go see! Under the red triangle. I guess I'll go see for myself. What are you waiting for? Get over there! Make it harder to find somehow. Bertina, don't we want her to find our presence? August, this is a battle between mother and daughter. You might want to tamp down that competitive streak. Easy for you to say. You've been showing me up for years. I never got the best of you once at the military academy. 
It was all I could do to keep you in sight as you soared ahead. Getting shown up that easily really frustrated me back then. Actually, it still frustrates me. How long are you going to hold out against me? Just because it's over doesn't mean I'm over it. You don't say. I can't imagine ever holding on to a grudge for so long. You sure about that? If you ask me, you're way more likely to... Oh no, hurry! She'll find it! All right, on my way. Daddy, it's here! I was right! Good for you. Mm, maybe that hint was too easy. You think so? You know, if you keep throwing these challenges at her, she's going to turn out just as competitive as you. And what's wrong with that? We're all having fun, right? You might be, but I'm not. Ha ha. You're a terrible liar. Well, when it comes to you and Lucina, perhaps. Can I have the next hint now? Oh, right. Your second hint is the umbrella tree. Now this is a tough one, so... I know! That's the biggest tree! What? She got it right again. I'm gonna go take a look! You always did express things in rather obvious terms. Ugh! I remember the love letters you used to write me. They read more like challenges or <laughs> threats. Never mind. On to the next one. She'll never figure out this last hint. Then how can you call it a hint? Come on, you. Let's get going. All right, all right. For a tree to fully block the rain as an umbrella does, it certainly would have to be large. It's wonderful. But listen, the last hint might be a bit... I can't wait! Hmm. Alright, how's this? The rope bridge and the heart of a youth. Huh? We don't have a rope bridge. Oh. Well, guess you'd better put your thinking cap on. I don't think we have one of those either. Huh? The heart of a youth? I don't get it. Well then... I'll grant you a companion to aid you in your search. I get a companion? Who? August the Wise. He sounds fantastic! He sounds like a fantasy. Oh, wise one. Guide Lucina on her quest. Solve the puzzle for her, you mean? Are you all right with that, Lucina? Yep, I'm fine. My companion's triumphs are my triumphs. <laughs> she resembles us to a frightening degree. Very well, your wish is my command. Shall we depart, my young hero? Okay, wise one. A rope bridge and a youthful heart are both easily moved. You could say they... Sway? Swing? Oh, the swings! That's my girl. Neither will we. Right, darling? Never ever. <laughs> 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 
Wait, hold on. August, isn't your class starting soon? Your students will be waiting for you in the square. Yes, you're right. Lucina, I hate to run off. No, that's okay, Daddy. When you get out there, say hi to Lucian. From his future wife, me. Uh, right. I'll pass it along. Oh? Why, my dear husband. You seem to have developed some kind of facial tic. Y you're imagining things. Well, I'm off. Have a good time! <laughs> See you later. And don't forget to pick up the cake. I would never. Now, let me make haste to meet the students in the square. Lucian, my apologies for making you wait. It's fine. I had a book to read while I waited. It's just as interesting as the last one you lent me. You finished that one already. A war record, wasn't it? And a rather dense one at that. Yes. Do you have more like it? Sure, if you're interested. You're a very diligent student. I'm just doing what I enjoy. I see. I wonder what she'll grow up to be. What? Nothing. Where are the others? They went on ahead to the top of the hill. Then let's meet up with them. Yes, sir. The hill's past that gate. Lucian, when you're older, are you interested in joining the Imperial Service? No, I don't think that kind of thing suits me. You don't? No. All I want is to live here in peace. Harvesting apples and drinking tea. Then why do you study so intently? Because it's fun, and because I respect you. Do you? Well, I'd rather have a respectful son-in-law than the opposite. Wait, what am I? Teacher? Sorry to keep everyone waiting. Let's start out with some combat training. Ready when you are. Good. Come at me whenever and however you like. Good strike, my boy. 
but just a bit too obvious. Not done! <laughs> That feint was a clever move, I'll give you that. But where was the follow-up? You left yourself open. I surrender. And there, that's your other problem. You're too clever by half. You back away, the instant you sense defeat. Well, yeah. Isn't that the right move? It's a fine strategy to withdraw when you've run out of options. However... Giving up too early can cost you more dearly than you might think. Uh. See if you can find the one thing you won't give up on. Thanks. I'll try to do that. That was a good training session. Everyone's on their way home. Time to go get the cake. Oh? Lucian, what is it? Sir, I have a question. About what? Today's Lucina's birthday, right? Well, I got her a present. That's very kind of you. Why don't you join us for dinner? You can give it to her yourself. You really don't mind? Of course not. I'm sure that Lucina would love to see you. You're too kind. Okay, I'll join you then. Thanks. Let's make sure it's all right with your parents first. And after that, I need to pick up Lucina's cake. Will you come with me? Of course. First stop, your house. It's the farthest one to the right. <laughs> I remember. Hello, August. Thank you for taking such good care of my son. Sure, it's my pleasure. And speaking of Lucian, I've invited him to join us for dinner tonight. Please, Mother, may I go? Certainly. I don't see why not. Is there any special occasion? Yes, in fact. It's my daughter's birthday today. How nice! Send her my best wishes. So that's it? Dinner with Lucina? W well then, we'd better go and pick up that cake now. Yes, of course. Please, do take care. Thanks. You two have fun now. I hope you'll continue to take care of Lucian. As his future... You know. I assure you that matter is still under deliberation. <laughs> so the boy has a chance then. Speaking of Lucina... Please take her this as well, if you think it's something she'd like. Thank you. That's very thoughtful of you. Now to pick up that cake. The confectioner's is next to my house. You certainly are eager. Excuse me. I'm here to pick up the cake. Hey, August. I was just finishing it up. Good timing, then. We put plenty of nuts in our chocolate cakes. Balances the sweetness. Adults love them just as much as kids do. Since Lucina's six now, I think she can start to appreciate it. Thank you. I'm sure she'll love it. That's that. Now to go home.
Okay, everybody ready? All right then, happy birthday, Lucina. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thanks, everyone. Oh, here, I have a present for you. Huh? What is it? I wonder if it's a ring. <coughs> It's only fair. I mean, you always make me happy. You're all right, son-in-law to be. What? Please ignore my wife. She thinks she's being fun. Oh. Hey, Daddy! This cake is delicious! Oh, Lucina, here. There's some icing. Huh? At this rate, grandkids are a done deal. Come, Lucian. Let's go outside and train. You want to go train? Right now? Sounds like fun to me. I'll be on Lucian's team. Any objections to that? <laughs> Just you wait. Pretty soon I'll have you kneeling before me. <laughs> That's what you used to say. And then, next thing you knew, you were flat on your back. Please cut this out. You really shouldn't fight. Uh, how dare you? <coughs> Improved a bit. Oh, this isn't right. Please stop. There you go, Lucian. <clears throat> Thanks for having me over. Sorry if things got a little overwhelming. Oh, it's fine. Although my knapsack somehow feels heavier now. We we're really sorry. No, I'm only kidding. I had a great time. Mostly because Lucina did. She had so much fun, she wore herself out. I'm really tired, too. Let me walk you back. There might be a storm on the horizon. It's all right. My house isn't far. Thanks for having me, Mr. and Mrs. Wallenstein. Good night. Good night, Lucian. Good night. What an exhausting birthday she had. I wonder who's to blame for that. Please, I made it exciting. You loved it. I did not. I'd have much rather had a nice, peaceful evening. Yeah, you're still a terrible liar. <laughs> that bad, huh? It's all right. I'll clean up. You go take Lucina to bed. Will do. Now to check on our little sleeping beauty. No, Daddy. Stay away. I... I never thought I could be this hurt by someone else's dream. sleeping here. Let's get you to bed. Oh, you really are a big girl. Six years old already. Sleep tight, Lucina. <sighs> now, back to Bertina. She should sleep well. Don't forget, you have to get up early to sell apples in the city. So I guess we better turn it... It sounds like Grandfather's old homestead is starting to feel its age. You deserve a better life than this. The kind of life that you could have had in the capital with your talents. Oh, is that right? 
It's my life. I'll decide what I deserve, and I like you more than the capital. With you and Lucina in it, this life of mine is perfect. So there. But I... Hush, August. Don't be humble. You're the most talented man I've met. I know that. Because you somehow managed to defeat me. <laughs> Try as I might. I can think of no greater achievement. How could you? Anyway, once you've sold your apples tomorrow... Well, Bertina, guess those apples may need a bit of protecting. I'll go check in on the orchard. You stay here and watch Lucina. Right. But please, do be careful. I can't catch a break. The weather here certainly is fickle. The storm blew the nets loose. Better secure them quickly. Gotta make sure it's tight, or else the whole crop will be lost. All right, on to the next one. These were supposed to protect the apples from strong winds, but they couldn't even protect themselves. Okay, just one more. These apples are practically my children, and they're my actual child's future. That should do it. Better let Bertina know. Wait, is that... You came out here too? Yes. I was getting worried about you. But it looks like you protected them. Here's hoping. But I'm beginning to have my doubts about this orchard. If it's going to be this hard. Don't say that. The apples here used to be famous, right? Sure, in my grandfather's day. But the land turned barren. And you've dealt with that. Just look what beautiful red apples you've grown. Only on the outside. They taste... too sour. Do you know what people are calling them? Apples of betrayal. Because they betray your expectations. Oh, let them talk. I know these apples will sell. Because the most talented man in the Empire grew them. Bertina. Thank you. Tomorrow... I promise you, our fortunes will change. Daddy, where are you going when it's so early? Somewhere far off? I'm off to a neighboring town. I've got a new contract there. Hmm. Well, I don't know what that means. But anyway, good luck, Daddy. Thanks. Don't worry. I know you can do this. But of course I can. After all, I'm the most talented man in the Empire. If my apples are sour, then I'll just make that a selling point. <laughs> Clever. After all, even a sour apple can be put to use by a good cook. Exactly so. It's all up to you, wise one. <laughs> Understood. I don't intend to let you down. Yay! Thank you, August the Wise. All right, you two. Off I go. Bye-bye, Daddy. Have a good day.
My love. 